Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for your support. All right, let's get some messages for you today, Sagittarius. I hope everybody's having a great day today. Please keep in mind, Sagittarius, that this is a general reading. Sending love and light and peace and love and harmony to my um, to any Sagittarius that's watching this or anyone who's watching this video. All right, so let's get into the message for today, please. We're just going to take one of these. All right, I don't want to pull too many. All right, so we have excitement, fire, firecracker energy. All right, oh, oh, so there's some, so then we have the bottom of the day, we have tower, solid foundation, success, whatever at the bottom of the day. But yeah, firecracker energy here, excitement. So something, some, something exciting is happening, okay? Something exciting is coming in here, Sagittarius. I feel like, yes, all right, this could be good or bad, but let's just hope it's for the best, of course, okay? So let's see, what is this message here? Please, for my Sagittarius. Now, this, uh, of course, with this tower energy, success with the effort, solid foundation, this can have something to do with something that you are building that's going to be a success. This can have something to do with your career, with career being up under here. All right. So, yeah, something about your career is definitely going to be a success. I am also getting here, too. You need to seek out some sort of information that will help you. Okay, but you are definitely um, starting something. Something will take place as far as your business life or your romance life. I am getting somebody's going to have a lot of strong or somebody has a lot of strong emotions for you, whether if it's love or hate. Okay, it's what I just heard. This could be somebody that's born in March or May. Okay, um, for some of you. So let's just get some messages here, please, for my beautiful Sagittarius. Give me some messages here, please. For Sagittarius, what's the message here? All right, so the number three energy, which talks about moving forward, moving on. So whatever this exciting message is, it's, it's allowing you to move on. You're receiving some sort of message that's it's encouraging you to, say, um, to move on. Or this message that you are receiving, Sagittarius, it has some sort of a vehicle. It says travel. This is the ship energy. Travel, risk, adventure, Okay. So, yeah, something exciting, something adventurous is, is coming your way. Or this is you're going somewhere. Or something is about to happen that's very exciting. Okay, so we have watch your words and protect your energy. I'm not going to take that. That was, that was kind of like fill out. That could be for like a side note. Somebody need to watch what they say. Okay, don't be too excited, all right, about a conversation. Or somebody might get too excited and spill some sort of beans or some sort of like something like that. Sagittarius. All right, so let's get some messages here, please. Okay, so we have nurturing. And I really just want one, but we'll take two. We have rest, okay, kindness and nurturing. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Somebody's going to have to get some rest because somebody is about to be on the road a lot or taking some sort of trip or there are some exciting things that's about to take place in someone's life and it's going to require travel, okay? Someone is coming in that's very kind and nurturing, okay? This could be due to a cycle that you just ended, so this is something new that's beginning here. We have balance up under there. All right, so yeah, something is something good is coming. I don't know. I feel very excited myself for some reason. These are the cards I'm looking for right here. All right, so let's see. What is this message here, please, for my beautiful Sagittarius? What is this message? So I'm getting get a, get plenty of rest. Um, get plenty of rest and healing, Sagittarius, because something is happening. Something exciting is on the way. I'm also getting it's time for you to be kind to yourself, okay? It's time for you to nurture yourself. This could be uh, mentally, physically, spiritually, or whatever. You know, it's time for you to bring more nurturing into yourself, my love, okay? So we have the Ten of Swords for what energy you are currently in regarding the situation. All right, so the Ten of Swords, you are, you're, you, you are mind-blowing about, you are about to be mind-blown about something. Or you are in the energy of heartbreak currently right now. Or just happen to deal with some sort of betrayal or something or ending. All right. So why is my Sagittarius in the Ten of Swords, please? Or you're just in the, in the, the energy of being very silent, okay? All right. But this is because the Ten of Cups and the Magician. All right. So you are in the Ten of Swords of just feeling heartbroken or betrayed because of... Uh, because manipulative family or manipulative, this manipulative community. They betrayed you. They hurt you. 
Okay, so this is why you're in the Ten of Swords. What's coming towards my Sagittarius regarding this situation here? So the Five of Wands, wow. Okay, so this excitement not, might not be something good. Yeah, something might. So I feel like you are already dealing with the Ten of Swords, betrayal, or you're dealing with just like some backstabbing that is energy that you just kept going about. You didn't let it stop you. But it's due to this, this, whoever this manipulative energy here is. This is why somebody, somebody could be an Aries or an Aries in your family. It's just this manipulative community or these people working together of some sort. But what's coming towards you is like it, this five of wands energy. Fighting, arguing, competing here for some of you. Okay, interesting. So, damn, the five of swords just flipped out my hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting, this is this excitement that's coming. It's drama. So, this, you might have to, okay. So, y'all might have to relocate. Not just, let's just see. So, what is the challenge of the situation here, please? What is the challenge, please, for my Sagittarius regarding this situation here? So, the challenge is between the swords. You speaking your mind and you speaking the truth or an air sign. You have to overcome this angry air sign. <laughs> Not angry air sign. What could be angry air sign? You have to come across this uh, very sharp air sign. Somebody who's very sharp. Or the challenge might be you. This is you um, having to speak your mind to speak your truth. Or your your tongue might just be the challenge here. Maybe you say some real fucked up or some real fucking truth to somebody else. I mean, with the queen of swords. She speak that truth sometimes. Depends on what energy she's in. Okay, and what's the outcome of the situation? Okay, so the outcome is the lovers. They're probably going to make up. Okay, everything is going to be okay. Fine and dandy. So you are going to be able to move on to something more balanced and nurturing. Okay, so the lovers and the kindness and nurturing. So maybe you meet someone. All right, so what's the three? So I guess that's probably why they tell you to the rest. So that you can get this negative and like so you could just heal from this negative energy. Something about resting will help you move on to calmer waters with this three energy. It'll help you move on. So get you some sleep. The body will heal if you sleep. The mind will heal if you sleep. Some of y'all don't like to sleep. Maybe you sleep too much, but um I don't know. Some of y'all sleep too much as well as what I just what I'm picking up on. What's the ten of swords though? Why is my Sagittarius in the Ten of Swords? So the emperor okay so the fool some of y'all just left a job and you just abruptly just like end a job you just leave a job okay so we have the five of ones up under there so damn so you are in the ten of swords because this five of ones energy or somebody that's competing with you for a position so somebody is betraying somebody you have the three of swords so somebody you're in the energy of dealing with some sort of betrayal or heartbreak that, that's over okay with the royal cord the eight of cups that you have walked away from but it, the energy is still lingering around that's what's going on for it to even be coming up i feel like this is something that you don't even care to hear about anymore you don't care about the certain situation can y'all see that four of cups yeah you don't really care about the situation um but it's still lingering around so there's some energy some heartbreak or some sort of not heartbreak could be betrayal just backstabbing energy that you dealt with due to a family or community that is still lingering around so what's the magician ten of cups please or you still kind of feel the source that's in your back <laughs> you know you know what i'm saying sagittarius but i do with the world card and the eight of cups i do see you finally letting it go and you kind of like walking away and starting a new cycle here okay What's, what's the magician that's in the cusp of rise by Sagittarius in this energy? Who is these people here? I'm sure you already know though here. Uh, what's the what's the magician ten of cups? Okay, so the knight of wands and the judgment. Yeah, these you already know. You have already got a powerful realization about these energies here, who have caused you to be in a, uh, the ten of swords, heartbreak, backstab. This could be family or someone who has a family or made a family on you. Yeah, ten of swords again. Yeah, the ten of cups and the ten of swords. Yeah, you you are already aware of this ten of this. Um... Yeah, I'm almost finished. By me. You are already aware of, huh? Yeah. Um... You are already aware of the family betrayal, the community betraying you, or these people that's in this society, this group. You are already aware of that, but that's, yeah. All right, so, but, so why is the Bible 1 coming here? 
okay because of the seven, seven of pentacles all right so i am getting there's still kind of like energy that you feel so that might be why you i feel like there's still there's a queen of swords that still kind of want to we keep getting this we keep getting this no 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 no, no. it's coming up again Like, there is a Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups energy who really wants to fight. Like, they want to come back to the fighting again. The High Priestess, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Swords. Somebody is having a hard time, like, moving on. Like, somebody don't know how to move on. They wondering, uh, but they, they don't want to. So, somebody is going to come back with the same fucking, it, this drama. This keep coming. This, we just got this. We just pulled this energy. What's the Queen of Swords for the challenge? Because she, this, the sister ones in reverse. Somebody is so mad that they did not win something. They feel like they have lost against you. Sister ones in reverse, five of pentacles. This don't have to be an air sign. This could be someone who's just angry. Like this, what's the Queen of Swords, six of wands? The Wheel of Fortune, the Four, and the Four of Swords. So this person might let it go. Okay. Uh, or somebody going to finally put something to rest. Because I feel like... Okay, so yeah, we have the Eight of Wands, the King of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Yeah, the Devil. That's an air sign who's really stuck on something. They cannot let something go for some reason. I don't know. Um, I thought they was going to let it go, but it, it, the Eight of Swords came back. So, somebody is back to the same thing. Like I said, we just pulled this energy the other day, y'all. We did. Somebody is really stuck on the past with the Six of Swords. Six of Cups, Eight of... Somebody is like, feel like they was not successful in something that they really want to get success on. What is the lovers for the outcome? I'm not... I'm going to stay on this energy too long. I'm so sorry, y'all. We just pulled this energy. So, I see... Yeah, somebody might apologize or... I see the outcome being, like, something about nurturing energy. That page of cups, that kindness energy. So, I do see somebody might move on officially. Or somebody might meet somebody, like a lover, who's going to encourage them to move on. What's this? Okay, so, damn. A tire in the reverse. No. This is crazy. I don't know. This this person has been coming up all week. Okay. Well, since like Sunday, I would say. We, I've been getting the same energy. The same energy here. So, um, I don't know what to say. Somebody is, they got to win. Somebody just challenges. Even though it's a challenge, some, yeah, we have, they'll be back. Like, literally, somebody is coming right back for the challenge 1313 13 on the phone um yes somebody must feel mercury retrograde like something is coming back around period somebody must really feel like you have beat them in something and they just refuse to kind of like let it go sagittarius okay um outcome here so we have change Somebody definitely needs to change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movements. Yeah, somebody is stuck in the past. I'm telling you. Somebody is it's been coming up so heavily. Heavy lately, I mean. Alright, so this is what I have for you, my love. I'll see you in your next video. Bye.